A little more than two months now since a local student, Monty Roush Jr., passed away. And on November 1st, the Columbia Middle School student collapsed during a basketball game. His mother later learned Monty died from cardiac arrest. The CDC says 2,000 seemingly healthy people under the age of 25 in the U.S. die each year of sudden cardiac arrest. Sidney Hood sits down with his mother who wants to share his story. He lived a short life, but he lived a full life because he made a major impact on so many people. Monty Rouse made the biggest impact on those closest to him. He loved his sisters very much. <laughs> he loved his sisters. Monty loved everything in life, family, friends, and especially sports. He played sports all his life. Um, and this was his first time playing sports at the middle school. He was so excited to make the basketball team. Wearing number 33, Monty played in his first middle school basketball game on November 1st. Well, he played first quarter. Um, then he went to go sit down. First quarter, I think, lasted about six minutes. Then minutes later, everything changed. Looked over, saw him laying down on the bleachers. So when the ambulance arrived, they checked him. At that point, that's when they knew that he had went into cardiac arrest and he was not breathing. Monty never made it back on the court. We thought we were gonna, he was gonna wake up, we were gonna send him to rehab and bring him home. Monty died two weeks before Christmas. Monty was a healthy child. He had no issues, so this can happen to anyone. Just, I just want to prevent this from happening to other children. And she'll do so using Monty's name to keep him alive forever. Sydney Hood reporting there for us. Now, right now, Georgia law only mandates that high schools with interscholastic athletes, athletic programs have to have at least one functional AED on site at all times. Monty was at a middle school at an, at this not clear at this point if that school was even equipped with that device.